matter? Huh? What's the matter? It's all right. Hey everybody, we're getting ready to crank the show in about four minutes on the Outdoor Call radio app. Got a big show for you. We're going to be talking a little bit about, uh, with the number, at 5.30 we're going to talk with the gentleman that shot the number two certified Osceola turkey in Florida. He missed the state record by ounces. But I'll tell you, we'll talk more about that here in a second. Be right back. Hang on. Got to move some switches. What's up, Tony? How are you? Doing okay? I haven't heard from Andrew, so I don't know if I'm going to be running the controls by myself. See, look at all this nice stuff we got. We got the studio. We got the boards. Huh? Isn't that fun? All that fun stuff we get to do. huh? I just want to make sure I get everything up and running. Check two, three. Ooh, that's probably Andrew right there. That's probably Andrew right there. I heard Raven. Here, Raven Bellerin. So we're going to be talking uh, with, with John Pageant, and we'll hear about that about his great hunt, and uh, and then we'll uh, we got some other stuff to talk about, and should the hour should go pretty quick. So we're we'll I'm going to keep this on and Facebook Live until about 5.20, 5.25, and then we'll pop off, and then you, I'll let you listen on the app so you can hear the guests and everything. He's on time. He's actually he's actually a couple minutes early. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got uh, I got everything ready to go. So I got that up. I got and then I got a I got one commercial bank loaded already. So two minutes and we'll be on the air. We'll be ready to go. Hope. What's everybody doing today? Everybody having a good week? Having a good day? Hi, Glenn. Go Navy. There you go, buddy. Go Navy. Boy, the Blues got their butt kicked last night, didn't they? They uh, Bennington would look great, but boy, the the losing overtime like that—that that was awful. All right, so. Is that speaker on? Okay. All right. Just quit raining. Yeah, we got rain last night here. So. All right, you ready to get in here? Yeah. All right, let's get this thing rocked. I'm gonna turn this around and get ready. Fun stuff. Fun, fun, fun. Anybody? Uh, 5.30. All right. Are we on? Not yet. Gotta wait. Let's see. The butt tool not going on? No, it's, I just, we just still got time. Oh, there. All right. Here we go. 10 seconds. See, that's behind. We're, it's already five something on the. I think that's like 45 seconds behind. All right, welcome to this week's edition of the Wednesday Drive on the Outdoor Call Radio app. Hope everyone's having a great Saturday. Or Saturday, Wednesday. It's the Wednesday Drive. It would be Wednesday. I hope everyone's having a good Wednesday all around the good old U.S. of A. we got Tony and Glenn watching 
on Facebook Live, so we appreciate them doing that. <laughs> 1701. There you go, man. So uh, Cardinals are playing, I guess. He said it just quit raining and Pujols is now pitching. It's 17-1. to 1. That's not good. The Cardinals must be getting thumped. Either that or you, are you are you drinking in the afternoon, Glenn? I'll have to look it up later. I don't have time to look up baseball scores right now. So anyway. Hey, man. Uh, appreciate everybody tuning in. And thank you. We're going to have a good show. We're going to have John Padgett on at 530. John uh, is part of Spurs Up Calls. And he said, Glenn said, yeah, uh, he just shot the number two Osceola in the state of Florida and he got it certified by the National Wild Turkey Federation. So can, we'll, we'll hear that whole story. That uh, that's a big bird being number two, just missed uh, number one. But we'll get into that. We've got some other stuff to do. Andrew, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good for a, for a Wednesday midweek. Doing pretty good. Weather has been good. Uh, of course, some rain, which is good. I, I, I can't complain. No, oh, there you go. Doesn't do any good anyway, right? Nope. Doesn't do any good anyway. Show is brought to you in part by our good friends down at the Milo Locker. We appreciate Ange and Daryl and all the gang down there. They got beef sales going on. They got uh, a whole bunch of stuff. You can get stuff shipped if you want to get, send a gift uh, just in time for Father's Day. Maybe send a little a barbecue package that you want to get out. Uh, just get uh, Ashley or... One of the gang will call down at the Milo Locker, and they'll take good care of you. That's where I always go and get all my stuff. So I got two freezers. I got a freezer there, and I got a freezer upstairs, and a lot of Milo Locker stuff is on there. So, all right. So turkey season's over, done. Well, at least in Iowa, it's done. Morning fish or happy fishing, Dave. How you doing? Happy afternoon. I'm all over the place this morning, man. Afternoon. Yeah. Sure are. Morning, afternoon, evening. And it's all in the day. It's all, all it's just all uh, all in the day. So that's all right. That's what I get for running down here like with uh, five minutes before we go on the air to get stuff ready. So um, uh, turkey season's done here in Iowa, but is it over? Is it over? It's not over till we say it's over. Was it over when, <laughs> was it over when Napoleon rushed the Delaware River? No, it wasn't. So, uh, little animal house, uh, little animal house humor, but, uh, I, I think I'm going back to Kansas. Uh, I talked to Donovan and, uh, Kansas turkey season is still going on and I might, uh, I think I'm packing up the truck and heading down to see Donovan here in a couple days and see if I can at least get one more show for respect the game done since I had such a challenging turkey season, this, this Midwest, not, you think I'd be a glutton for punishment, right? Because I uh, I wanted to get things going, but uh, unfortunately it didn't happen that way. So we'll see how it goes. Hey, we got the Father's Day deal going on on the Outdoor Call Radio app right now. So if you listen Monday through Sunday, we have the phrase that pays. That is at least played three or four times a day. So everything's on a loop. Just keep let's keep listening. You'll hear it as soon as you get it. All you got to do is just go to theoutdoorcallradio.com. And my email is right there. Just shoot me an email saying, hey, Dan, here's the phrase that pays, and I'll get you in the drawing. Uh, we're going to have a winner uh, for this time. They get a $50 gift card to the um, Sportsman's Warehouse, and they also get a brand-new Work Sharp electric sharpener, which is like uh, $79.80. So that's a really nice package for Dad. Uh, and, you know, you don't have to use it for Dad, but, you know, we're calling it a Father's Day deal. And I even got a big tin of lot of pop popcorn we're going to give that away on the show on saturday on 1350 espn so uh thanks to arlie for giving us some popcorn and stuff so everybody always likes getting popcorn sit there munch on that while you're watching your favorite uh baseball game or whatever so uh anyway uh I, my uh my 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 season ended with uneventful no shots nothing blah 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 rain just, just bad. I have not got the turkey reports yet for the year from Iowa, so hopefully we'll get those here in a week or two, and uh, we can discuss how how many people harvested birds, what the what the population was, and uh, see if it was up or down. I'm gonna I'm gonna bet a dollar it was uh, down five percent or more, but uh, I'm just going by from what I've seen and heard all around the state. Seven oh five and some change here on the Outdoor Call Radio Network. So I had a, I had an interesting email, uh, and I can I don't know if I could bring this up right now, but it was, uh, do you have to be from Iowa to win on your the outdoor call radio? Absolutely not. It doesn't matter where you're from, uh, as long as we have your contact info, we will get it to you 
We just gave a we just gave a prize away to uh, somebody in New York. We just gave a prize away to somebody in Wisconsin, and uh, I think that was I think the guy from Wisconsin was um, uh, from the working class bow hunters deal that we did, and uh, he won a Arctic Ice uh, package thanks to Dave and all the gang at Arctic Ice, and it was like a fifty dollar. Arctic Ice deal, but uh, his name was Gene, if I remember right. I don't have my list in front of me, but I'm pretty sure it was Gene. Uh, but uh, Mike Simmons just won the uh, Mother's Day deal, and uh, he was he is from Iowa. But no, you don't have to be from Iowa to win. You can just just uh, email us, and we'll get it to you one way or another. That's that's what it's there for. And even when we give away the shotgun from JLM Shooter Surprise uh, Supply, you you will have to do a background check. But we will make arrangements to get the gun to you if, uh, if you do our lucky winner when we start doing that turkey hunt, which should be here just in a few weeks, as soon as we get the Father's, deal, Father's Day promotion up and running. So there you go. Yeah, Mike Simmons says, yes, I did win. Thanks again. You're welcome, Mike, and I appreciate you watching. So anyway, uh, that's what we're up to. And uh, we got a couple of really big events coming up here in a few weeks. I'll tell you about. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let me take a real quick break, and when we come back, we'll talk about that. If you need to, if you want to ask a call, you can hit me up. We're on Facebook Live right now. You can ask me a question there, or you can also uh, email me. I should be able to get that. Uh, you can just go to theoutdoorcallradio.com. My email's right there, and uh, you can always call in. I'm scrolling the numbers right now: five one five six five zero. 3466 if you want to call in and say hi to you. We'll be right back. It's the Wednesday Drive on the Outdoor Call Radio Network. Tacticam has launched the best-in-class cellular trail camera, the number one selling action camera in the industry. The new reveal by Tacticam has changed going? the way you scout forever. Not uh, only again, is it one yeah. of the easiest to There's set up, but the line, most affordable right. cellular Alice. camera on the market. As you know, we you educate your game and leave really your set when checking cameras in the field. Well, With Reveal, those issues are gone. You can receive pictures in almost real time it's right to your app without going into the field. The Reveal offers half second good, trigger speed, detects game well, from up to 96 we're, feet we're away in 4G and LTE wireless modules. Verizon and AT&T plans available. 24-inch LCD screen. What you gotta do, man? All you can do is just do what you can do. As low as five dollars a month, the Reveal's world class app allows you, you to do. set up your camera, add cameras, view and organize pictures, and much more. Again, plan starting we'll, we'll as low as five dollars a month. Anybody fishing right now? I talked to my buddy Forrest Ridgeway from Bike World, he's up in Lake Vermilion right now, fishing, doing good. He caught some big walleye. Heading to your favorite outdoor spot is your hunting, fishing, or utility knife ready for any task? Well, if you use the original workshop uh, guide let's see. before you left, you bet they are. So when we get ready for John, all you got to do, I've already got his number in. Just uh, get that call. Flexible abrasive belts. The that sharpening system is able to sharpen a variety of knives, including curved and serrated knives. Dave, you been out bass fishing? <laughs> Carry your bow fishing? That's awesome. Good for you, man. Or lady, ma'am. Probably shouldn't call you a guy, huh? That's, I'm sorry. Just it, good for you. It's awesome. You both you getting gars or what are you getting? Carp gars? What you getting, Carrie? I don't even know where my bow fishing bow is. I gotta, I gotta find that. I haven't been bow fishing in so long. Hey, did you see that 300 pound alligator gar the guy shot down in Texas, Carrie? That thing was huge. That thing was, it was like that wide. It was just gigantic. Getting carp. There you go. Be a good day to go bow fishing today. Coming back or what? Are you into cooking wild game or grilling? If you are, you probably love to transform your wild game into. Yeah, there you go, Dave. Way to go. Crappies are biting. Make some of the best tasting sausage, snack stick, or jerky around. High Mountain.
seasonings offer simple kits you can easily use at home, including three new low-sodium blends that will produce wild game snacks your family will love. High Mountain Seasonings makes grilling steak or smoking your favorite meats taste even better with their specialty spices, marinades, and rubs for deer, elk, or your favorite steaks. High Mountain Seasonings also has chili, taco, and fajita blends that are spicing up kitchens and grills everywhere. Look for High Mountain Seasonings at Sportsman's Warehouse, at your favorite grilling retailer, or just go to HighMTNJerky.com for recipes or to find the closest store near you. High Mountain Seasonings has everything you need to make your game or favorite grilling meats taste great. All right, welcome back to the Wednesday Drive on the Outdoor Call Radio Network. Outdoors Dan here, Andrew is running the controls. If you want to call in, we have open lines. You're more than welcome to do that. 515, see, i got to wait for it to scroll. 515, no, I don't. 650-3466 are the numbers to call, and you can go from that. Crappies are on the bank right now. Been, uh, I have not had a chance to go yet. I was going to go yesterday, and I got tied up. So uh, we are, they're catching them in three to four feet of water. Uh, brush piles are good places to go. And they all said if you are not finding them on the banks, uh, you could try in seven to nine feet of water trolling little bitty crankbaits like bandit crankbaits. That's doing really well. Getting out there about a half a mile to a mile trolling and uh, people are picking up some really nice slabs doing that as well. So I would get you some Bojangle baits or go over to uh, purecrappie.com and uh, they've got some really good minnows, swimming minnows and uh, other plastics that you could do. That's I've got uh, monkey milk and uh, midnight minnow and uh, a couple other colors, some uh, white and chartreuse. That's what I'm going to be throwing. Hopefully I can get out uh, tomorrow's Thursday, right? Tomorrow, either Thursday or Friday, I'm hoping to get out and do a little crappie fishing. So we'll see how it's going. But I'm going back to Kansas Anyway, have you, uh, if you've not tried trolling those little bitty uh, crankbaits, those bandit crankbaits, man, those are money. Uh, and I have no affiliation with bandit crankbaits. I'm just telling you, I know several people that are doing that. And they're, they're doing really well down on Truman and uh, uh, Mark Twain in Missouri and also on Stockton Lake. Trolling those little bandit craw, craw, crawfish colored or uh, silver minnow or blue, uh, any type of uh, like a bait fish. Uh, cranks. Um, they're doing really, really well in seven to nine feet of water. So that works pretty good. Uh, let's see. Chandler Bay. I had somebody ask me who won the hen decoy. It was Chandler Bay. Congratulations to Chandler. Pure crappie plastics under a bobber work great for crappies. Thank you, Dave. That's They do work good. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Told you about the, did I tell them about the uh, Father's Day deal, right? Fa phrase the pays. $50 gift card to Sportsman's Warehouse. And a work sharp sharpener. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to actually put, I'm going to try and do a slip bobber about four feet, three to three to four feet down. And I know where some of the brush piles are. And uh, I'm going to go to a couple farm ponds that I like. And I'm going to, that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm just waiting to get a little bit more of a, of a chop if we can uh, do that. And uh, I'll be excited if we can do that. So. I like a little chop so I don't have to sit there and crank that bait as much. Why is that doing that? I don't know why that's doing that. I got, I keep, my, my uh, uh, that's better. Okay. My monitor is slipping on me. 514 and some change here on the Wednesday Drive. So I want to thank Stevie Moe from Working Class Bowhunter. Steve had me on his podcast. Uh, it's it's called, Strain, I think it's called Stranger Things with Stevie Moe. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Let me see if I still have a... Uh, <laughs> if I still have his uh, his uh, message to me, uh, I he I have never been asked some questions about that. But we got into stuff from ghosts to Bigfoot to uh, hunting. He goes, well, we you always talk about hunting, and I said, yeah, uh, okay. And he goes, let's talk about something different. And uh, I said, okay, we can do that. And then he started freaking out when I told him that uh, we had something really weird running around our other house. I, I don't know what it was. And uh, Getting Strange with Stevie Mo is the name of the podcast. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> and he's a stand-up comedian, so he can get uh, he can get a little blue, a little off color. But he was really he kept it really civil for me. So that was nice of him. But I, I like Stevie Mo. He uh, he's a good guy, and I you know I like. Uh, 
I like Kurt and all the guys over at Working Class Bow Hunters. There's some really nice people, and it's it's always nice, and I enjoy having them on. They always have some good discussions going on as well. John said, crappies are a big creek, green, lindy hair jig, and three to four feet of water. There you go, John. Thank you for that live report. I appreciate that. That's what I was saying. If you can't find them on the bakes, then just go a little bit out because every little every little fishery is going to be a little different. So um, I know down in Missouri with the high water that they've had, the, the fish are starting to stage or um, suspend a little bit. So, but I don't I, I don't think we I don't I don't think we have to worry about that in Iowa unless you get up in maybe up in the glacier bay, the glaciers up in up in the north country, up by uh, Spirit and Ogaboji and stuff like that. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, 516 and some change here on the Outdoor Call Radio. So big big next event that we got going on is the Iowa Cubs Outdoor Day. And that is going to be Sunday, July 17th at Principal Park. And uh, this will be where myself and Larry McCoy from Respect the Game TV will be the host. We're going to, we're going to have some giveaways. We've got a Grizzly Cooler to give away, a $1,000 Elite Bow we got some Arctic Guy stuff going on. we got some Sportsman's Warehouse swag. we got a $1,000 Camp Right camping package we're going to give away. Uh, that'll be a tent cod and a sleeping bag from camp, uh, and some other stuff. Uh, so we should be getting that stuff in momentarily. But uh, that'll be all for, up for grabs on Sunday, July 17th. And we're going to be, I think we're going to do the drawings like in the seventh inning. We'll be on the field and we'll be drawing the names. Andrew and I will be manning a table like we did the year before. And we'll have a whole bunch of giveaways. I'll have a bunch of Outdoor Call Radio bumper stickers and some other fun stuff. So hopefully we'll uh, we'll have that stuff. Andrew, you got anything else we're giving away? Uh, no, I don't. I'm not giving anything away. You're not giving anything away? No. Why not? Maybe my time. <laughs> oh, really? You're not going to charge me? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I might be generous that day. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Is there a Facebook event for that, uh, Carrie? For the uh, for the uh, iCubs deal, um, if you go to the Iowa Cubs uh, deal, Carrie, on their on their social media, they should have it start. Uh, they should start promoting that here. Uh, I would think any any day now. So they do. I know they do put it on their social media. So it's the outdoor, and you can actually have like if you got an outdoor chapter, like the say the Mid Iowa Archers or. Uh, if you got a, a National Wild Turkey Federation dinner uh, chapter or du Ducks Unlimited, Pheasants Forever, you can actually do like group seating and stuff, and, and you can do fundraisers at the game. Um, if you call the iCubs, they can explain all that to you. But this is, it went, we got rained out twice. Was it twice last year? We got rained out? Yeah. Twice. Yeah. And then they finally had it, but I had to, I was out of town for, I had to go hunting. So I missed the, I missed the giveaway. But uh, they're gonna they're gonna do it uh, a little bit earlier this year, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we can uh, have some stuff. But the Iowa Department of Natural Resources is going to be there, and a whole bunch of other outdoor special interest groups, and it should be a lot of fun for that. Plus, you get to see a baseball game, huh? Get a couple hot dogs and a I beer. Love that. Yeah, have a beer and a dog, you know, or you know, Revelton. I you know I'm sure Revelton's in there, so have a have a whiskey sour and a hot dog. Whatever floats your boat. Yeah. Whatever yeah. floats your boat. Whiskey, bu whiskey sour the right way. I, look, I you know, if I'm, yeah, I like a whiskey sour. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, nothing wrong with that. All right, uh, let's see. Let me take another quick break, and when we come back, uh, we'll try and give uh, our guest a call. Uh, well, I said five thirty, didn't I? So I don't know. What do you want? What are we doing Sunday, Saturday? Do we have any big, uh, big guests or stuff? Oh, I had somebody ask me: Are we going to play the? We played the T-Bone uh, interview from two weeks. Was it two weeks ago? Yeah, uh, we, we played it both on Saturday it, and Sunday. We played it Saturday and Sunday, so we still had some people that missed that. So I, uh, I'll have Andrew play that again this coming Sunday on the Outdoor Call Radio app. So if you just go, it'll play at least four or five times. So if you want to hear T-Bone Turner, Travis T-Bone Turner. Uh, we'll do that one more time. And then we're going to start archiving some of the shows. Uh, I'm working on that right now, trying to get my friend to, uh, who's a web developer to help me with this. But uh, the Wednesday Drive, the Healthy Herd, um, let's see, Hunting for X's, and uh, the Saturday shows, we're going to start archiving on the OutdoorCallRadio.com website. So that way, if you miss uh, some of the shows. And then I'm going to talk to Keystone Experience. I'll talk to staff. Uh, I'll talk to uh, the Spencer at the River Certified. I'll talk to Bass Edge. I'll talk to 
John, Jason Mitchell Outdoors. Everybody that runs shows Monday through Sunday, I'll try and talk to them. Uh, George Lynch and the guys at Legendary Gear, Spurs Up, Thunder, Daybreak. I'm going to see if we can archive, but I think most people are going to want them to want you to go to their site. Um, but I'm going to ask anyway, because we've had a lot of people ask about archiving shows, and we're li everything's live on the app. So, uh, But we've gotten a lot of people say, hey, can we go listen to past stuff? And it's like, I just don't have the availability to do that yet, but uh, the only way we're going to be able to do that is if I put them on the website. So that's we're going to try and do that to help. We're trying to make sure we we please as many people as we can. You know, at least you at least do. least folks are wanting to hear it. So yeah, that's a good thing. All right, five twenty one and some change. Let me take a real quick break. It's the Wednesday drive on the Outdoor Call Radio Network. Let's talk about a story, an Iowa story about a dream that took several years to come true in Osceola, Iowa. It's the story of Revelton Distilling Company. These fine distilled whiskeys, gins and vodkas were born from the labor of Robin Christina must be Taylor. Getting killed. It's amazing Full hearing the customer's cooking. descriptions of how unique each bottle looks. Have they, they been getting bombed? I think he's talking about the other night. There's nothing. Sip. From the honey whiskey to the whiskey and cream, uh -huh. or the robust yeah. mulberry oh, yeah. gin, yeah. American yes. gin or vodkas. Revelton Distillers visitors the, can't believe the flavor the most home runs. The guy with the, the most home runs the distillery every day. Well, it's because they don't want to waste their pictures. They're located at 1400 West Clay Street, right off I-35. Revelton Distillery Fine Spirits are also available at your local you grocery and give other John, retailers around Iowa. Please check them out online at reveltondistillery.com or visit them at the distillery. If it's time to celebrate or just time to sit back and unwind, well, then it's time for a Revelton moment. When it comes to aiming, you need a good sight that is not only easy to see, but one that will hold up in the field under the harshest of conditions. Well, have you seen what custom bow equipment has been producing? Kerry just bow sent me a bow fishing video. Can you see that? Season that fits any budget. The new Trek and Trek Pro models hmm. have folks talking at every. That's ship. pretty cool. The Trek series offers tons of adjustment with exceptional precision sighting in. Not only does custom bow equipment have great nothing sides, wrong with that. Doing a little bow fishing. Stabilizers, including honey kits in the new Torx line. Every bow hunter needs a good quiver, and the new Adapt Five Arrow quiver is not only light. But exceptionally strong. Here you go, if you want to see what all the excitement is about, just go to custombowequipment.com. Custom Bow Equipment also offers the tough as nails guarantee, so you never right? have to yeah, worry about your gear. Yeah, Custom Bow Equipment, great hunting accessories for your bow. That sounds slow to you. Hey, everybody, outdoors. Hello, here. Let me ask you a quick question. I wonder why that's Are slow. Because I did it here. That also puts a bed behind it. Huh? I also put a bed behind it. I know you have one now, but it doesn't sound like hunting is, but what it does for the state of Iowa. Did you know hunting in Iowa annually brings in huge economic resources to our state? Hunters buy tags and permits every year so they can hunt here. That impacts restaurants, retail stores, gas stations, convenience stores, outfitters, and guides all over the state of Iowa. That leads to hundreds of millions of dollars in state taxes and retail sales that help keep Iowa moving forward. Anti-hunting groups are working hard every Every year to limit your ability to hunt here so hunting works for iowa is partnering with not only hunters but businesses all across the state to protect your rights if you want to learn more about hunting works for iowa or if you're interested in becoming a partner please go check out their website at huntingworksforiowa.com there's a place in ankeny that's all about the outdoors and that place is sportsman's warehouse they provide all lines of hunting and fishing gear at the best prices you can find gear for deer. Did you get all the phrases and pays and all? Whatever hunting you're into. Yeah, okay. I got that. New products arrive each week to outfit you better. They have a complete firearms area, providing the finest firearms and ammunition around. Oh, Everything I think from we've used up all that. Everything from reloading can be found at Sportsman's Great. Warehouse. So we, Their fishing department well, is we're doing simply next the best. Week if we're they have doing a favorite the, uh, tackle like Flint, Abu Garcia, Quantum, well, and Zebco. From the serious angler so, to the regular fishing enthusiast, to it, next, Sportsman's Warehouse has all you need. From camping to boating, the other thing to this best week, clothes and footwear. Week, right? like I'll draw the name for Father's Day next Saturday. Not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Okay, so we still We're need to raise some pay for this. Right. Yeah, yeah if you can give me one, one seven then. Seven days a week to serve you. Ask about the seminar. Because we want to run that a couple weeks. So Your uh, hometown uh, outdoor yeah. store should be Sportsman's yeah, Warehouse in Ankeny. The last one. Our dogs are you part of yeah. family, and we want to protect them at all times. Do you know the area that you want to keep open and not have a traditional fence to protect your pet? 
No worries. Call Chris at Pet Stop of Des Moines. Chris Spoltra is the owner of the Pet Stop franchise in the Des Moines area and has been keeping pets safe for over 19 years. A Pet Stop system will not only keep your pet from leaving your desired area outside, but can also be set up to keep your pet out of areas in your home. The Pet Stop system is underground, keeping your property open and easy to maintain. Plus, with a friendly user app on your phone, you can customize the Pet Stop system to help your dogs enjoy their playtime and stay safe at the same time. For more information on how to protect your buddy and keep your home looking great, call 515-975-2190 or go online at PetStop.com. Pet Stop of Des Moines. Outdoors Dan recommended and Raven approved. All right, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio, the Wednesday Drive. It's Outdoors Dan. Andrew's over there, man, in the controls for me. So, uh, real quickly, we got about uh, we got about three, four minutes. We're going to get John Pageant on. John is uh, with uh, Spurs Up Calls. He was lucky enough to shoot the number two uh, state record Osceola Turkey in Florida this season. And we're gonna, he, he's going to give us all the lowdown on the hunt. So here, as soon as we get ready to call him, we're going to switch off of uh, Facebook Live and ask you to go onto the app so you can hear John talk. And that way you get to hear the whole thing. All right. Other than that, uh, that's about uh, all we got. Um, I do have some dog training stuff coming out. And <laughs> yes, Stu, it's the Outdoor Call Radio. It's on iTunes. It's on uh, Android and Alexa. All, it's at your app store. Whatever device you're using, just go to your app store and type in the space, outdoor space, call space, radio space, and by then it'll pop up. And it's free. It's free, free, free. So I, I got some drug training stuff coming out uh, that we're going to give away here in a few weeks, too, uh, just to make summer. And then that camping package, uh, we're gonna. I talked to Aaron at Camp Right. We've got a sleeping bag. And some other stuff uh, to give away for your summer camping adventures. I should be getting that here in the next couple weeks. So we got some fun stuff. And then I've had a lot of people ask me about uh, the uh, bow. We're gonna the, when's the next bow we're gonna give away? Because we gave one away at the Iowa Deer Classic, and we're gonna give another one away. We'll probably give that away towards the end of July or August is when we'll give the next bow away. Because we got to space them out because they're so expensive, right? So anyway, all right. So I tell you what we'll do. We got about another minute. Um, Andrew's calling, uh, calling, getting ready to call John. I'm going to say goodbye to everybody on Facebook Live. Uh, we'll be live Saturday morning on 1350 ESPN seven to nine. I hope you get a chance to listen in there, and I'll let you. Uh, I'll, we're gonna. I got some lake reports, and oh, I got uh, Smoking Joe. I got to see it. One of them new ZR2 Chevy trucks. I'm on both Facebook and the app. Barbecue on the grill, John. John says, thanks, John. I appreciate that. I got a chance to see that new ZR2. Uh, I'll talk about that on Saturday because, boy, I tell you what, that thing is awesome. Um, the displays and stuff inside that truck are just simply amazing. So, But we'll tell you more about that uh, when we get back uh, on Saturday on 1350 SCN. And we'll be back here on Facebook Live, too, uh, and you'll get a chance to check that out. So. Uh, there was something else I was going to tell you real quick before I, I say goodbye. And why is the uh, Respect the Game app so little right there? I need to make that bigger so everybody can see that. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. Anyway, uh, I think that's it. So Andrew's got John on. I'm going to say goodbye to everybody here on Facebook Live. Thank you for tuning in for the first half hour. Please go on the app, turn that on, and you'll hear us do the rest of the show for the next half hour. All right? I'll see you on the app. Thanks for tuning in and uh, for the rest of you. Go download it. I'll see you later. Thanks, everybody. All right. So that's.